Thank you so much for watching Tomoshita Music. Once again, thank you so much for subscribing my channel here, Tomoshita Music. The reason I always ask uh, to subscribe because um, somehow analytic always says not so many people subscribe. Right now, I think every day I get like 130, 150 people subscribe. Sometimes 200 people, which is nice. You know, so um, yes, thank you so much. And today's topic is musicians' injury and prevention. Because um, today, someone asked me about um, how to deal with in hand pain also how to avoid that pain. So definitely you can prepare how to practice right. Also posture, exercise, hand exercise. And of course, if you have a pain, we have to deal with that. Or oh, I will show you how to do uh, body exercise. So first part is more body exercise because that way you can warm up your hand, but also you can uh, ease your pain. Okay, and I'm not a doctor, so I can't really do acupuncture or anything like that, but just, you know, basic exercise. And I work out, you know, three, four times a week because definitely body will help hands, finger, you know. And then acoustic guitar, I practice acoustic guitar every day in the beginning and fingering exercise, I will d demonstrate for you. And then electric guitar, I will show you how to set the amplifier and guitar nicely so that you just don't go wrong way okay so let's do the first part is exercise but before you exercise posture is really important so now i i'm using this nice chair secret lab t for tone so here when both this um uh, chair came with a uh, armrest so i took armrest and just set right um, position and uh, here's the important part you see that back I never ever go like this I don't do that because I'm always working so I always do this I never have this one very rare when I listen to music I listen to music like this so you know yeah so my body is really straight you know okay so that's number one all right so now obviously your shoulder you know arm everything in the connected so sometimes you have an injury from here everywhere but make sure like this bring up and drop so make sure like you know <laughs> you know don't feel stupid like you have to do a kind of stupid thing you know? <laughs> Like that, right? So now drop your arm so really blood you know flow. I can't really explain you know like detail, but but you see, and you can do if you want to this. <laughs> you know, and then when I work out, definitely I do you know stretch arm a little bit like this because I'm 56, so obviously my body is really uh, need to be stretched so I do that I do you know other things so now once I had a really bad pain because I pulled a muscle not from guitar that because you know me and my wife we bought the furniture and then we borrowed the car big truck then I carried the furniture with the person we bought from he was very strong so we, we went you know to the car without stopping and I just couldn't say anything and that's when my um, muscle pulled and that then this is a problem I could not do this because so much pain so even I was touring in Japan sometime on the stage I have to go like this crazy right then I have to you know hold it then I can play but I cannot carry the luggage or anything like that so that was really bad so then I went to see the doctor and what we call tennis elbow or golf elbow because over you know use injury right so so I learned the exercise first you stretch 
like this. You know, just don't don't do anything too painful, okay? This is very simple. Like that. Stretch. Okay. So basically stretching your muscle. And I used to do this when I was doing karate. So I just include this, you know, I do that. So this one basically losing up a muscle, you know, you like that. And then here's, okay, fists like this. All right. So then now you, now you feel a little pain inside because just pulling a little bit more. All right. So do this one, maybe like a 10, 10 times, 20 times, but don't go too much, you know? All right, now watch here, go sideways. That's it. So that you feel, you know, yeah. And just, you know, think about just, you know, again, you know, stretching like that, moving like that, then, you know, this direction, that direction, okay? like. If you see the muscle moving, see? See that? Right? Yeah, so then I, you know, I did, you know, a lot of body stretch. So that's something you want to watch yoga or stretch video. It's just, you know, anything simple. You don't have to do anything. I mean, just like, you know, sit on the floor you know, you know. <laughs> you don't want me to do that right because i do every day but anyway so stretch like that and uh workout part right because you have, your body has to hold your body and then you know it's good condition so i do like you know um like a high knee you know those exercises right high knee you know like that you know kind of almost like a running in the same place i do that and I do sit-ups, you know, basic sit-ups on a few different things. And uh, I have a little bit dumbbell and then they, you know, do this, do that, you know, so many different ways so that my muscle is, in, you know, enough muscle to support my finger. So in other words, a guitar player, we do a finger thing, but then to me, entire body has to be relaxed and feel good. I mean, if you don't feel good, how you make it feel good, right? So that's little bit of preparation, prevention, okay? I, I'm not a doctor, so I can't really go too much detail, but at least that exercise will help. So now, uh, back to posture, like don't lean on it. So basically, you can, I mean, if you wanna improve, if you don't wanna get injured, don't sit on a couch. You have to have a nice chair for guitar, and you sit down. So let's do first acoustic guitar. The reason is, Acoustic guitar, it's really made, made for like sit down to play. So this part really fall into your leg and your hand lean on your guitar. And naturally, unless you have a huge hand or a long you know, you know, hand, see, sound the hole. Okay, so Acoustic guitar to practice, I think it's good, you know. And I do few things. I, I do two, three things when I practice. And usually I practice with a chromatic scale, but even that, it's a lot of work to do and a lot of uh, details, you know. So um, I'm going to write on the screen uh, the fingering patterns, this one. So I practice this one. So one, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four. Okay? But beginning, you have to play this. So so when I teach guitar, I, pr I teach this chromatic scale, but not just only the chromatic scale, more technique. So use less pressure. So that means your left hand thumb just around center of back of your you know, guitar neck. And so first, no rhythm. You play four notes, sustain the last note. Then you sw swap, switch your position to next one. 
OK like that slowly so first you eliminate noise so so you work on technique like that now same time you can work on dynamics you don't want to overplay so you play say like normal right so so they say this is normal volume so if you play normal volume it's too normal you have to do a little bit more effort so may, may play two three of them third one softer 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 it's harder to do because if you do softer all of a sudden I can hear the air of this room and noise outside of this room now all of a sudden I can hear every finger noise you know so that way same amount of time you spend your time become better quality and 12th fret for example you have a little weak finger not able to do long time don't worry about that then in that case you start from fifth fret up to ninth fret in other words you do not listen anybody how to do too much because then you are in uh, um, patterns you have to suggest a little bit by yourself a little bit less less is more less is better so like that so you so now I generally teach myself practice myself fourth and third string this way very consistent my thumb position all the way up I do not recommend it this way because that's require a lot of you know so I will show you the next one but first one so basically this is it and then you use right hand palm to mute the bottom string so already you are learning a technique speed doesn't matter the timing use less pressure less pressure tough to do it yes tough to do it so you have to slow down so now when you're going down that's the pattern four three four three Two three four three. Two one two three. Four three two one. Slowly. No fingers. I do this about five minutes in a usually. Okay, and. Um, and I have several different things to do myself, but that's what you don't have to do, you know, just different things you can do. So, you can do just a simple like that, you know, no noise. Now, usually, after that, I usually put The reason I do this song because I learned this when I was a student at the Berkeley and somebody gave me this chart, you know, as he's from Japan. And so I just learned this one piece and I, I really thought, okay, like a really connecting C form and A form, a cage of the form kind of thing. And I made up my own fingering, you know, from regular music notation. And then it turns out if I play like that, just 60 seconds. So if I play three times and your cup noodle is ready. <laughs> so don't worry about that but the second one you should practice this is I practice a little bit more like a 10 minutes or 15 minutes so this is like root 7 third see so root 7 third 
and root third of seven. I have a lot of exercise like that. So the reason I do this one, it's good for muting rhythm. B flat blues. See this? This massage your finger. After you play 10 minutes, you, your finger vibrating, you know, from the vibration. And here, while you practice, you can hear the chord changes. So basically, you're practicing soloing, pre preparing. Already I hear the melody. Already I can improvise. Oh, jazz blues. It's a little difficult in you know, acoustic guitar, but one go to six, two five. Then I practice some you know open string stuff, but you know that's that's okay. But so you wanna have maybe fingering exercise. One, two, one, two, like that, five minutes, and do the swing, 10 minutes, you know, only 10, 15 minutes. That's really great way to um, do start your guitar. So you understand, acoustic guitar I play because of perfect, perfect size and perfect position. Here we go, like that, see? So now, put, the, put this guitar here. Now electric guitar, I have to turn that, amplifier here. So now I'm using Music Master Bass Amp just because this amp only volume and tone. Tone of broken over 20 years so about uh, tone is 7. This amp tone control just does a little less little less oops little less um, too much little less um, brightness or more brightness that's it so overall tone is really set inside of amplifier and then 12 inch speaker so great for guitar listening you know so the reason i use this one and i use this you know practice electric stratcaster or telecaster i like that and then so he, here's the important part see now the stratcaster you see if you compare the acoustic guitar You see, main part is this. Leo Fender is really smart. Main part is this. When you sit down, guitar is falling into right place, just like acoustic guitar. Then when you put the elbow, he's smart, just like acoustic guitar. So that's why he made this. None of the other guitar had that, right? Then if you play, you're, you're picking on the front pickup just like acoustic guitar. That's why I play Stratocaster. But funny part is before I came to America, I used to play 335. Now if I'm used to this one, then I play 335. This is a little difficult to play. Okay, so now you see, important part is guitar is just set like that, but still not perfect. So I use a strap. So this strap from Japan, I'll announce you soon, but so see, I ask exactly how how high. So idea is this. Oh sorry. So if I stand up, if I sit down, same position, obviously, and not changing. So if I stand up, same way I play, step like that. And you know, guitar makes a little bit this way just because I push my elbow a little bit okay now thank you so much for watching so long this, this you know topic is a little too long but uh, so amplifier I set volume up to two it's kind of loud you know and then just in case I have pedal board tuner and everything else but then so tuner off so you can hear the guitar now 
usually I set my guitar volume about 7 or 8. I never go to 10. The reason is, most program people set volume 10, then turn the volume to set the comfortable tempo, uh, comfortable, comfortable volume. That's not good because you can't improve for comfortable volume. So I do a little bit loud, like a little bit loud, almost like I have to you know, watch myself how to talk type of thing. So guitar amp is loud. Kind of loud. So let me play a little bit. So this is my volume, it's an A. So like that, idea is I have enough loudness and guitar tones all the way up. This way, you can play softer. You don't want to squeeze too much. You have you have to relax. So you can practice anything you play, but you have enough volume so you can really hear it. Okay. So if you play chromatic scale, little softer. So what happens is you learn how to use your left finger not to press not too much pressing it down. Okay? So that's like a warm up, you know. And then you can you can do the same thing, but when you when you're strumming, I turn down the seven. Like that, practice, you know. So this is a great warm-up. Soft picking, okay? And I use pick boy um, one millimeter. Just like heavy, size is heavy. And then uh, let's see. Material is really important. My pick is a celluloid, so that if you if you play really hard, it's burns. <laughs> I shouldn't do this one because it's not good. Good idea. I just did it once, you know, in the video. So anyway, I think I think you got the idea. Make sure everything bright, loud, so that you play softer, and use material that won't last too long. So it's health. You can really see if you play too much, it's wore out right away. Sound like that. Oh yeah, one more, one more. So. Then you can practice like simple. Simple major scale pattern. But then you can play Do mi re fa mi so fa la. Like that. Or do re mi do re mi fa re. So like do re mi do re mi fa re. So basically. You don't have to memorize anything because you you know the system do mi re fa almost a skipping or do re mi do re mi fa re mi fa so mi you you go up go down something like that I learned that from somewhere <laughs> so you know sometimes I practice I don't practice that much but I think now hope hopefully 
you don't have any injury from your hand because I already feel relaxed because I did a little exercise with you. Thank you so much. So if you like my contents, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you hit the bell notification, that will alert you uh, whenever all my co new contents is up. This will help me in creating uh, a lot more exciting and fun contents for you. And thank you so much. Have a great day. See ya. Talk to you soon. <laughs>